Here we go with, as promised now, news for seniors on this edition of AWN. Legal Services of Northern Virginia provides free, 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 free legal counsel to seniors at senior centers several times a month. Their attorneys will be at Walter Reed Senior Center Tuesday, January 31, from 10 a.m. to noon. Seniors can get advice in a confidential setting on a wide range of issues such as Social Security benefits, uh, Medicare, Medicaid, and a lot more. To make an appointment, call Walter Reed at 703-228-0955. Emergency preparedness is on all of our minds these days. Dan. Yes, Deb Powers from Arlington's Office of Emergency Management will oh, I know be Deb. Hi, Deb. repeating her informative program on emergency preparedness. Um, you can go to that on Wednesday, February the 1st at 1.30 p.m. at Eurora Hill Senior Center. Ms. Powers will discuss how to get information in an emergency, how to respond to specific situations, and how to get started in making an emergency plan. Call Eurora Hill uh, Senior Center to sign up for this free program. Very important program, Craig. All right. You bet. People often wonder about hospice care. Common questions include... What does it provide? When should they be called in? And what is the cost? Uh, and are there reimbursements available through insurance plans? These and other questions will be answered by Bill Sargent from Capital Caring. The event will be held Thursday, February 2nd at 1 p.m. at Walter Reed Senior Center. For more information, give Walter Reed a call. They ask that you call in advance to sign up for this program, 703-228-0955. Five. Daniel. Culpepper Garden Senior Center is hosting a four-part <laughs> series on Abraham Lincoln. It will begin on Monday, February the 6th from 10 a.m. to noon. Each successive day through Thursday, seniors will watch two-hour DVDs, which bring some of his finest moments to life and give a modern perspective on his legacy. Register early for this free series by calling 703-228-4403. Abraham Lincoln, one of our great presidents. Absolutely. Right? 15th, 16th, something like 16th. that? 16th. All right. Thank you. Well, Museum One's Executive Director Joan Hart is presenting an illustrated art awareness program at Aurora Hills Senior Center on Monday, February 6th. At one in the afternoon, Ms. Hart will discuss the current Phillips Collection exhibit in D.C. featuring photography works by Impressionist painters who used a handheld Kodak camera in the 80s. The cost to attend this program is six bucks, not bad. Call Aurora Hills uh, to sign up and for more information, 703-228-5722. And as always, thanks to Judy Misabney of the Office of Senior Adult Programs for helping us out. Thank you, Judy. And sending us these announcements. Thanks, Judy. We appreciate your help. All right. As promised now, up next on this edition of AWN is Rich Misabney and his two lovely guests. Here's Rich. Okay, this is Rich Misabney. And we have with us uh, two lovely ladies who are part of the uh, Miss Virginia Senior America. And this is why we're here. We're recruiting for February 16, uh, over at the Washington House in Alexandria off Beauregard there. Uh, the, uh, this is your chance, ladies. If you're 60 or better, as we put it, you, you can be 80. And the point is, you got a little bit of talent. We're going to ask the ladies here. Anne Marie Pittman, she is the uh, head of the uh, state director. And then we have the first runner-up last year. Can you believe this, girl? She doesn't even look like she's old enough to run. Uh, Kathy Finelli. Uh, and each state, each 50 states has a, a, a contest and all that and talent and whatever it is. And then a winner comes and then they go to Atlantic City. And uh, this lady here, uh, Kathy Finelli, was runner-up last year. Louise Wade uh, won. But, uh, you know, first runner-up ain't bad. Uh, Anna Marie Pittman here uh, was also a winner, weren't you, yourself, some yes, years back? Yes, I was in 1998, so do the math. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. You were 30 then, right? I was 30, but I lied about oh, my age. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, so it's very important. I got to say up front, I'm on the board of directors of uh, Miss, well, you know, all these pretty women. Why wouldn't I be on Miss uh, Senior Virginia America? And, uh, and, and so this is something you really should consider. How many times can you ladies 60 and above, or better as we put it, uh, could compete in something? And uh, this is everything you want. It's February 16. 
Now, I'm going to just shut up in a minute. I want to give a phone number for those who want a phone number of 703-549-7012. It's on the screen, and the website is uh, on the screen too, msvirginiasenior.com. What can you tell us, uh, Anne-Marie, that we should be aware of? Well, as you said, February 16th is our orientation, and this is a chance for anybody who's interested to learn all about what Miss Senior Virginia is about and what they're what they would need to do to uh, become a contestant so they can uh, understand that we have an interview, we have a, um, an evening gown, um, and we have a philosophy of life. We're going to put that on the screen now, these points you mentioned right. about philosophy. Uh, and, and you say here, like, 35 seconds, real fast. And uh, talent, uh, 2 minutes, 45 seconds, uh, evening gown, and... Uh, you know, optional uh, stuff is community services, stuff like that you do. Now, we've got that up on the screen. And, uh, um, but, but this is, I think, I don't know any other contest in the world where you could be 60 or better and, uh, and run for something. Absolutely. And, you know, when, when we were growing up in my time, you either wanted to be a ballerina, Miss America, or um, a stewardess, quote. Right, right. And now this is our chance. We can yeah. do it again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I just want to maybe uh, hear, when uh, we get a chance, I don't know if Mateo can swing around here, but this is no joke here. We got a publication here, Miss Virginia Senior America. This is for the 2011 pageant. Uh, I didn't prepare my camera guy here on this, but you can, you can see this when you get a shot. And then that's for this local Virginia. You know, when there's one in Delaware, there's one in Ma uh, Massachusetts, you know. Uh, did you get this shot, Mateo? Okay. We'll come back to it if you have to. All right, this is our local thing with the pictures of all these lovely, there it is. Keep that close up on that. Lovely ladies in here, everybody in here. I, I think uh, Kathy Finelli's in here. And then the, this is the big thing for Atlantic City. Look at this. This is big time. Okay? And um, so it's really, um, this is big time. Oh, you want to take a shot? All right, they give me heck on this. All right, you got it? Um, Kathy, what do you say as a runner-up? What does it mean to you? It, mean, it means a lot to me. I observed the pageant for a few years before I was eligible to participate in it, and I was really impressed with um, one facet of it that uh, was my driving force for participating, was the ladies that have been in the pageant uh, become members of a cameo club. Uh -huh. And that is the prerequisite, is having gone through the pageant. And everybody in the pageant had a talent, so they perform the talent at senior centers and nursing homes and hospitals. Mm -hmm. And then we, we get together and we have meetings. And I grew up with brothers. Mm. And I always wanted a sister, never had one. And so I had to wait 62 years, but now, <laughs> now I have sisters. Yeah, right, and, um, right. Well, your talent was dancing? Yes, for yeah. two minutes and 45 seconds, I am Michael Jackson. That's right, and you had the costume and everything. Yes. That's right, right. You still do that, or you just yes, I do. Oh, you do. Absolutely. Uh, I was going to say that um, the criteria for talent is something that uh, scares people because they think, "Oh my gosh, I don't mm -hmm. have any talent." Well, mm -hmm. everybody has some talent, mm -hmm. and and it's not only performing arts. You can be a dancer or a singer, but we've had roller skater on stage. We've had comedians. We've had um, dress designers. We've had... Um, People doing readings, right? Re yes, poetry. Uh, one lady rode a bicycle and talked about her cross-country experience on bikes. So it's not just talent. It's not just Barbie dolls. We're not all just blonde and blue-eyed. We've had African-Americans. We've had Asians. We've had naturalized uh, American citizens. So it's, it's open for everybody. It's not just for glamour girls, quote and unquote. Yeah. Uh, now, you guys out there, the brothers and husbands and cousins and everything, you've got uh, lovely gals in the family like this. Uh, push them to get in touch with uh, Anne-Marie Pittman, who's the state director. Again, we're going to put on, we got less than a minute. I want to put up on the screen again, if I can, people, uh, the phone number. And believe it or not, maybe Anne-Marie will pick up the phone herself, you know. Uh, uh, Probably. Uh, uh, yeah. 703-549-7012. <laughs> And, of course, the website is uh, msvirginiasenior.com. Uh, and, uh, boy, I mean, it's, um, that's the thing. Remember, you've got to be 60 years old or better, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the, these, uh, did people have trouble believing you were 60? They, they keep telling me that. Yeah, and I know this one. Who believes she's more than 40? 
But, uh, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. You have to prove that you're that age, right? Uh, and you have to be a citizen of the United States and six months in the state of Virginia to be eligible. Oh, yes. okay. I think that tells it all, doesn't it? What do you say, Mateo? How much time we got left? I want to dance with one of these girls. Half a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, I don't have enough time to dance. Getting up out of the chair takes me 60 seconds. Anyway, uh, I think there's nothing like this in America. How do you like that? I that think you're right. That gives an opportunity to senior citizens. Um, you know, just don't, I mean, I've talked to some of the women, you know, I've gone to some of these things over the years with the luncheons or whatever it is, and uh, it's changed their lives. Changed their lives in a nice way, nice way. And uh, brings them out, even if they're a bit, a little bit, uh, you know, reticent to come out. Anyway, I got to say goodbye. Thank you very much, Anne Marie Pittman and Kathy Finelli, um, Rich Masabney. Back in a minute. All right, thanks, Rich, and uh, the two uh, lovely ladies from uh, Miss Senior Virginia America. America. That's right. Winner, first runner-up. And the director. That's Rich, right. Very nice. Well, we That's should have right. them back again. That's right. Rich, you okay. have such a, a difficult job. Don't I? Yeah. Yeah. These Glam things up around That's here. right. Okay. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thanks, Rich, doing double duty again tonight. And uh, that's about it for this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a safe week uh, and join us again next week for another show. Take care. Be safe. Bye.